Good morning, I'm Beth with 50 Plus Beauty and I'm really excited to have you here in my bathroom with me. I'm going to be showing you my complete AM skincare routine and it used to be that I would just show you the creams and serums that I put on my face in the morning. And then I realized that really my skincare routine in the morning is huge and it involves beauty tools and all kinds of other things, including face shaving. So you'll be seeing that in this video. So do stick around for that. And if you're not a subscriber and you're interested in all things anti-aging, I am 63 years old, then I hope you will subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. That would be helpful too. Okay, let's get into this. And I call my AM skincare routine my beauty power hour because I accomplish a lot in the first hour that I get up Monday through Fridays. Now this is a Sunday morning, so this is off day for me. I don't do my exercise portion of the Beauty Power Hour, which you'll see a little bit of that in a few moments. I don't do that Saturdays and Sundays. I do take a break. I do my skincare, of course. Anyway, I am a creature of habit, and I think if we want to improve ourselves in any given way, that it's important to create like little sets of mini habits. And this AM skincare routine that I'm showing you is really part of a mini habit I've created over the last few years and it actually started eight hours ago, and I'm not kidding. And I do want to show you something that I think is super important in terms of anti-aging and something that I think has made a huge difference in my skincare. And this is the Sleep and Glow Omnia Pillow. And they just sent this new one out to me because I've used their pillows for probably three years. I've been on YouTube five years, and when I started, I realized that I was pressing wrinkles into the side of my face by being a side sleeper. And I saw my father-in-law and I noticed that he had one wrinkle that just was a vertical wrinkle that went from here to here. And I thought, why does Don have that wrinkle? And then I realized, oh, he sleeps on this side of his face. And I thought, I don't want that to happen to me. So five years ago when I started my channel, I started sleeping on a wedge pillow. But then I realized over about the two years that I used the wedge pillow, that when I was sleeping on the wedge, I was sleeping like this and my neck wrinkles were getting worse. You know, you stop one thing, you stop this and you get this. And so then I was looking around for a solution and I found the Sleep and Glow people. And I think this is probably my best beauty secret other than using sunblock. And I am not like some YouTubers here. I have used sunblock daily and practiced active sun avoidance since I was 35 years old. I was really bad before that. I really baked like everybody else and certainly growing up, my parents would drop me off at the pool and I would turn into a raisin every single day of the summer. It was bad. But from 35 on, I really started taking care of my skin and using sunblock. So that is largely why my skin looks as good as it does. But the second most important reason I truly credit to back sleeping. And if you're not yet a back sleeper, this is the ultimate pillow for you. This is the Omnia and it's what I use now they have another pillow if you're not a back sleeper and if you want to totally become a back sleeper. And this is the Ala, I think it's called. And in this one, it trains you to be a back sleeper because there's no option to sleep on your side. You sleep on it like this and so you can't turn over. But I did this for a while, but I don't need this. I really prefer this Omnia pillow. And the reason I like this is basically it allows you to be a back sleeper and I largely am a back sleeper. But in those times when you want to turn on your side, or if you're a side sleeper, look at this. I'm sleeping on my side. I have my full weight there. And instead of a normal pillow that would like scrunch my face up like this and cause all these wrinkles, look, that's the pillowcase there. But the pillow itself, I have no wrinkles and I'm totally like using all of my weight on this side. This is an absolutely fabulous beauty essential, I think, is to become a back sleeper. Okay, after waking up, and usually I get up about 4.45, because I do have my beauty power hour, which takes some time. The first thing that I do when I get up in the morning is I don't have my contacts in yet. I have them in now so I can see. But basically the first thing I do before I put my contacts in is that I put one drop of Lumify in each eye and this totally gets the red out. It doesn't cause rebound redness like some of the traditional eye drops do. And I really love this. And in fact, at one point I thought, Beth, you know, why spend the money on this? This is kind of expensive. And so I stopped using it and before you know it, I would be looking in the mirror and I call them my snake eyes. I'd get these old aged looking yellow whites around my eyes. So I went back to this and absolutely love it, but I put a drop in each eye and then I go ahead and brush my teeth and I use a fantastic toothbrush, which is the Philips Sonicare toothbrush. And this is a tartar controlled toothbrush. 
and I have found a fabulous toothpaste that has really taken the last bit of yellow out of my teeth. And if you'd like to see a new video on how I keep my teeth so white, then please mention that in the comment section below the video because I did a video earlier and I'll link that below, but unfortunately those products seem to have gone out of stock or out of production and I have a new set of products and my teeth are very, very white now. In fact, they're whiter than they ever were even before. And one of the reasons is this great opalescence toothpaste. It is a whitening toothpaste. It is the best whitening toothpaste I have ever used. And in fact, I'm out of it and I just ordered it new from Amazon. And after I brush my teeth, I actually use a beauty device. And this is the Nira. And I absolutely love this. And I am so surprised because I thought this was gonna be a gimmick. I did not think this was going to work. I used to use Botox under my eyes to deal with what I called the Marlboro Man wrinkles because I had a ton of them. And even the Botox use around my eyes kind of softened them, but it really didn't make a huge difference. I still do use Botox across my forehead, but now that's all the Botox I use. I have no Botox under my eyes. This little Nira has made a huge difference. And after I brush my teeth, I use my first beauty device of the day, which is the Nira. And this is a fantastic beauty device. And I thought it was a gimmick. In fact, I purchased this maybe two years ago and it sat there because I thought, there's no way this thing could work on under eye wrinkles. And I have huge under eye wrinkles. Finally, I decided to give it a try. And now I'm into my second 30 days of this and my under eye wrinkles have softened up so much that I'm no longer going to use Botox under my eyes. And if you'd like to learn more about this and see my 30 day before and after results, then I will link that video below this video and please take a look at it because I was amazed at this. Okay, basically you just turn it on like this and then it has these little power bars and I use the fourth power bar, which it's set on now on my eyes. And then it just makes little electrical heated pulses and you just press this little button and I'll show you how that works. And you just one, two, I count 40, three, four, five, six. It doesn't hurt. And if it does hurt, you should back off one or so. Some people can only do this on one or two but I am tough. I use four around my eyes and five around my kind of nasal fold area. I have started in my second 30 days testing that area because I had such fantastic results. Now that was a misfire. So it tells you when you misfire, those are good fires. And it shows you exactly how to uh, do this and the pattern to use. But anyway, that is how I do that. I absolutely think this has made a huge difference. And then I even take it up in this area. I do 10 across here. And I do this morning and evening. You can do it twice a day. Whoa, misfire. And I do the brow area right under my brow because I want to pump up the collagen in that area. Whoops because basically your brow skin holds up your sagging lids. At least I have sagging lids and I'm trying to work on those. Anyway, I do that around both eyes and I've started to use it down in here. And if you're interested in seeing my results, I plan to do another 30 day video. So I'll have 60 days on my eyes and 30 days on this area. And I just really cannot believe how effective this little thing is. Okay, after I do the Nira, I go in for a continued part of my skincare, which is at the coffee maker. Okay, after I do the Nira, I leave that area and then I go through here very quietly because Alan is still asleep. Good morning, honey. He's asleep. We won't disturb him. I get up very early in the morning. It's Sunday morning. It's maybe 5.30 now. Is it 5.30? Yes, I thought it was 6.30, but it is only 5.30. It is early. I always get up early. But anyway, this is my kitchen and I still have my Valentine's up over there. I think that looks so pretty. I just love Valentine's Day. I think it's awesome. Okay, and so this is another very important part of my skincare routine that it occurred to me that I should show you because I always tell you that I love this Science Research brand of collagen peptides because it dissolves so beautifully and it doesn't taste bad. It doesn't taste like anything. And this is types one and types three collagen. This is one of the most popular collagens on the market. I love my Keurig. And this is a truly one of the great parts of my day is uh, getting my Keurig coffee. I'll just choose one here. And this is my clown coffee. This happens to be a blueberry vanilla one. 
clown coffee. My husband calls it clown coffee. It's crave coffee. I really like it. It's flavored coffees and it's inexpensive. It's like 100 Keurig pods for, I don't know, maybe 25 cents a piece, 30 cents a piece. It's really good. So then I'll just take my little I Am Fabulous mug here, which I love that mug. That makes me happy too. And then I'll take some collagen and you just use one little scoop. And I just do like that. Here's a little scoop. And I think since I've been taking this collagen that my joints feel a lot better. I don't get those twingy bouts of pain I used to get. There's my coffee. Ugh, I can hardly wait. Coffee is one of God's gifts to the world, for sure. And as you can see, that collagen is just evolving on its own, even without stirring. In fact, I brought a spoon in case I needed to stir it, but I really don't need to stir it. Look at that. That's how it blends. Okay, let's try it. Yum, it tastes like blueberries, does not taste like collagen. It is a great way to give your skin, I think, a little bit more firming uh, to drink collagen. Okay, now that I safely have my coffee, the next stop is that little chair over there where I do my little prayers in the morning. And also you can see there, I have the book Jesus Calling there. I read the applicable page for the day in Jesus Calling. But that is stop number two. Then I go ahead and grab the coffee again, and I go down to the basement. And this is where the beauty power hour continues. I went ahead and turned on the lights. Usually it's dark when I come down here and I'm having to flip them on as I go. But anyway, there is the family room and I just walked through the family room. And then this is my exercise room. And I actually use my exercise room, I love it. I use it Monday through Friday morning. This is Sunday morning, so I won't be using it today. But basically what I do is, I used to do weights and I got very tired of lifting heavy weights. I know it's very good for us and I need it. So I continued using weights, but I used them in something called Power 90. And it is a set of two DVDs from probably 1990. And there he is, <laughs> Tony Horton. And it's a great little workout because it literally takes 30 minutes, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Tuesday and Thursday, I do my own cardio. And then after I complete my workout, I sit right here, which is kind of like Beauty Central. And as you can see, I have my new faces. My husband actually made me a little black stand for my new faces, which is really nice. I use the bear every now and then, and I use the Myo Lift. I try to use it once a week, but I have to say, the new face is easy. I've used it for four or five years. I absolutely love it. I actually think there's a sale going on, new face right now, I'm not sure, but I'll link it below. There's a discount code below the video. And after I finish my 30 minutes with Tony, I come over here, this is actually a trash can that usually sits over there, but I turn it upside down and I sit right here and this is kind of like Beauty Central. Those are my new faces and I use them Monday through Friday morning. I have two, so it really cuts down the treatment time. Then after I complete my new face and my brief face yoga routine, I leave the exercise room and go back upstairs. Next, we're going to head to the shower where my skincare actually continues. And in the shower, I not only start my cleansing, but I also do something kind of unusual. Okay, Allie, thanks for shooting this. First, I get my little Sonic Clear Petite, get it wet, and uh, basically I put a little bit of face wash on this and I just keep it in here. And then I just go around my face. Let me get my face wet. <laughs> and I think this has a preset timer to like three or four minutes, but I don't do that much because I don't want to over exfoliate my skin. I do think that as opposed to just using a washcloth, which is what I used to do, I think that this Sonic Clear really does exfoliate my skin much better. I really like it. I noticed within a week of using it that my skin just looked more clear, a little more radiant. And I saw a video with Dr. Davin Lim, the Australian dermatologist, and he said this type of a device was his number one skincare item for women in terms of anti-aging. And that made me take notice. So anyway, that's what I do. And then I just give it a spritz. I keep this alcohol right in there. Next, when my skin is still wet and still has the soap on it, 
I just take my little Gillette Mach 3, which is a men's razor, and I just real quickly shave my face. And I've done this for, I don't know, maybe 30 years. And I think it does help exfoliate this part of the skin, which I think cuts down on wrinkles, maybe. I mean, men aren't very wrinkled. I've added the neck too. I had a girl in a video ask me, I have a video, which I'll link below, about my 30 years of face shaving, 30 plus years. And she asked, do you shave your neck? And I realized I didn't. And I thought, heck, I got a lot of wrinkles there, so give it a try. Okay, after I get out of the shower, I come and do my skincare. And this is the bulk of my skincare. I do wash my skin in the shower because I really like the convenience of having whatever cleanser I'm using in that little gizmo on the shower wall. I'll link that below. I really love that thing. And I'm not real particular about what cleanser I use on my skin. However, I will tell you that this portion of the video is sponsored by Agency Skincare. And I absolutely love this. And even if they did not sponsor me, I would purchase this. This is a complete skincare program. Of course, I use more things because I'm kind of complicated. Agency is a complete skincare program formulated to meet your skin's needs by dermatologist providers. Basically, when you sign up for the program and there's a link below the video, you can get your first month totally free. You just pay $4.95 shipping and handling and it is a great way to try it out. And I will tell you one of the wonderful things about this program is there's a 60 day money back guarantee. So even if you go into the month to month, I think it only costs $30 a month for the basic program, which can include tretinoin, which is amazing. And maybe about $10 more to be on the program that I am which is a dark spot corrector formula program. But anyway, this is what you get in the box with your agency formula. And you all may remember that I was doing the Curology formula and agency is an offshoot of Curology. Curology was really more designed for younger people and dealing with acne, whereas agency has been specially created to deal with the needs of aging skin, which is not primarily acne. So I think that's just wonderful. And I cannot believe what you can get in this little box for like $30 to $40 a month is all. Basically what this allows you to do, it allows you to get on prescription tretinoin if you want, and you don't have to pay copays or deductibles to go to your insurance provider. You don't have to pay a fortune for tretinoin, which I think it's like up to $100 a tube. It's crazy expensive. Those types of prescription formulations come in your agency package and all you do once you sign up for the free first month with the $4.95 shipping and handling, you have to complete kind of a detailed questionnaire about your skin. And then a dermatologist provider is assigned to you and he or she gives you the formula that they think will help you best combat your aging issues. Mine were fine lines and wrinkles and dark spots primarily. And so anyway, this is a look in my agency box. And this is their cloud care cleanser that they recommended for me. And I do use this and it's a lovely cleanser. Now, this is the little bottle that got me started on Curology originally and now Agency. And this is my future formula. It is called future formula. And ladies, this is so true. What we do to our skin now, morning and night, morning and night, morning and night consistently does make a huge difference in how our skin looks in the future. And I absolutely love this future formula. And my customized formula includes tretinoin at 5%. I've really not gone any higher than that because my skin gets very irritated by it, but it can tolerate the 5%. Then it has dexpanthenol, which is an anti-inflammatory, which helps keep down the redness, keeps down the irritation of the tretinoin. Then tranexamic acid, which helps fight brown spots. And I really do appreciate that because I do tend to get brown spots and melasma. Then it has niacinamide, which is a great skin brightener. It just brightens the look of your skin, kind of tightens pores, makes your skin look more even toned, really like that. And now here is the dark spot formula. And if you have dark spots that you want to combat, if that's one of your issues, your provider at agency will give you a dark spot formula. And mine includes 4% hydroquinone. And this is so funny because when I started this, this is my second round being with the agency and using the dark spot formula. And initially when I came to agency, you know, two months ago, I had been using hydroquinone for maybe three months on my skin and it was going just fine. Although I still did have melasma up here, I really did. And I was a little frustrated because after I completed my questionnaire and sent it in 
My provider said, Beth, we really need to start you on a set of natural skin lighteners, right? And I thought, oh no, I've been on hydroquinone. You know, what's the worry? They should just give me the hydroquinone, but they did not. And it's so funny because I went through one round of that and I was thinking it's just natural bleaching agents that can't work. So I asked my dermatologist provider to send me the preparation containing hydroquinone in my next box. And they do that. They monitor you and you can ask them different questions and they can alter your formula as you go along. And so she did that. And I have to say that just before I got this in the mail, I really looked at my skin and look at that. My melasma is almost gone up there just from those natural formulations that I had in the previous dark spot formula. So looking back, I'm not sure I really needed to go to the hydroquinone formula, but here it is, and so I am excited to use it. Okay, my formula has hydroquinone at 4%, which is the prescription strength formula. It has 4% kojic acid, which is an antioxidant used to treat hyperpigmentation, which is great. It has 3% azelaic acid, which is used to treat rosacea, redness, that kind of thing. It also has 1% resveratrol, which is an antioxidant, which has anti-aging and anti-inflammatory properties. So altogether, this dark spot formula is what is being used to even out my skin tone all over, not just the melasma that I have here, but the dark spots that I have on different points of my face. And I used to think that in terms of having younger looking skin, I really cared the most about fine lines and wrinkles. But as I've gone further in my skincare journey and started using things like Agency's Dark Spot Formula, I've realized that the effect of evening out my skin has been just wonderful. And that's very youthifying because young people have even toned skin. It's not until we get older and get years and years of being out in the sun that we tend to get the dark spots. And I will say that, again, even if I were not sponsored by agency, I would be using these great products. I think my skin has improved. I think my pores look better. I think definitely the dark spots are kind of subsiding. They've subsided a lot, even in the past month. It's amazing. And I just think that my skin looks younger and fresher and dewier. And the health of your skin is very important. And I love it that I have a provider helping me out every step of my skincare journey. Okay, now let me show you everything I apply to my skin in the morning. And I start with this great Paula's Choice Pore Reducing Toner, and I really think this helps. This contains niacinamide and various ingredients to help your skin look more even, more refined. I just take a little cotton round and I put that all over my face. And I just love this stuff. Everybody always used to say that toners don't matter, but I really think they do. I think ever since I've been using this, that the pores on my nose just don't look as prominent. The pores on my cheeks almost disappear, which is just great. Oh, you're supposed to go up, not down on your neck. But anyway, I just start off with this little toner from Paula's Choice. Then I start applying my serums. The first serum I use is May Love the Glow Maker. This is an antioxidant serum. This is your vitamin C plus E plus ferulic acid. It's a little bit yellow and that does tend to happen. And it does mean the effectiveness of the vitamin C has gone down somewhat, but it does not mean it is ineffective. I think it's maybe 80, 85% at that point, which I think is still good. And I put all of these things on the backs of my hands. And then I really don't wait between my serums. It takes a long time for them to dry. The second product I use is May Love the Hydrator. And this is a B5 serum, and basically it has a lot of hyaluronic acid in it too. Just a little clear serum there. Just take a little bit in my hand there. It has a little bit more of a gel-like consistency, and I have noticed that it plumps up my wrinkles and just makes my skin feel very hydrated on my hands too. Now I go in with a little bit of exfoliation, and this is the Ordinary's Lactic Acid 10% plus hyaluronic acid. And this one is supposed to be yellow, and it is. And I really do like this. This gives you a little bit of exfoliation. And if you have acne, you could use a salicylic acid preparation here, a serum in that area. But I really don't have acne anymore. So I'm using the lactic acid, and that just kind of sloughs off the top layer of your skin. And again, it goes on my hands. Now, this next preparation, I literally just started using, so I can't guarantee it at all. But this is the DWEGF. This is a growth factor serum. And I keep reading in the literature about growth factors and the effectiveness to your skin, but they're very expensive. Sometimes little bottles like this would be like $160. 
So I started searching all over Amazon and I found this little guy, which is I think like $25. So I decided for $25, I would give it a try. I've only used it for about three days, but this is a growth factor from Daewoo Pharmaceuticals. And basically it's just a little kind of milky serum there. And growth factors are supposed to increase your cell turnover, increase your collagen production, do a wide variety of good things for your skin. I'll let you know down the road what I think of it because I just started using that. Okay, now that I have the serums on my face, they're starting to get dry there. Now, if this were evening, I would go ahead and use the Future Formula from Agency, but this is morning, so I only use that one at night. This is their Dark Spot Formula again, and this is the one now with hydroquinone, and I just take one pump of that. Whoa. I think I maybe got a little too much. I did one and a half pumps. And then I just put it on the affected areas, is what my dermatologist provider said. And my forehead has huge amounts of melasma. And my cheeks have melasma, so I'm putting it on my cheeks. It just feels very good. It doesn't sting or anything. None of this stings. Maybe the lactic acid a little bit, but nothing else. And I'll go ahead and put it on the backs of my hands just to get the use out of it. Now, the next two preparations are from City Beauty, and this is not sponsored but I really have been liking these. I am using their multi-action sculpting cream and they say on their website that this can provide instant firming effects. And the first time I used it, I kind of thought it did. That also over time, it has been scientifically proven to firm skin. And I've noticed that I'm starting to get jowls, especially on this side, and I hate that. I don't want to end up getting a facelift and that's what I'm really going to be working on. That's why I'm starting to use more beauty devices and I've got some other ones coming up in future videos. I'm excited to be showing you. I will be trying them all to keep the jowls up where they belong. But I think that just has a firming effect to it. And then I've been using their Invisicrepe Body Balm. And there's links below to all of this. And I have a discount code for many of these products. But this one I saw Kimberly test. And she did a 30-day test. And it was amazing on her neck. And basically, this is Invisicrepe Body Balm and she used it on her neck and I saw her results and they were so good that I am using it not only just on my neck, but in this jowl area, because that's what I'm really working on firming is the jowls. Let me put some of that on the back of my hands. I don't know that I have crepey skin on the back of my hands, but I won't now. <laughs> then the next thing I use is something that I use that is really a hormone cream. I was using the Source Natural soy-based hormone creams that were estrogen and progesterone, but I'm having a hard time finding those. So I've been testing out this ProHelp Moisture Treatment Cream, which is a progesterone cream, and I apply it on my neck. And don't use this unless your OBGYN says that you have his or her permission to use a hormone cream. I did take my other Source Naturals creams into my OBGYN, and he said they were just fine and that they were legitimately hormone creams. And my feeling is on these hormone creams, if your doctor prescribes it for you and says it's okay for you, you're supposed to put them on a thin skin area. And I was using them on my inner arms. And then I thought they are proven to thicken your skin. So why not use it on my neck? So that's what I've been doing there. And then I go in with the CeraVe AM Facial Moisturizing Lotion. It contains three essential ceramides and ceramides plump your skin and help build up your collagen. It contains niacinamide, which again is a skin lightener and brightener. And then it contains hyaluronic acid, which is a great moisturizer. Just take a couple pumps of that. And some people would use the PM in the morning because I do use a sunblock too, but I think it doesn't ever hurt to double up on your sunblock. So the fact that this has a plus 30 in it just gives me extra protection from the sun. And I really, really do appreciate that. Gets in your eyebrows though, which is no fun. Then I put that on the backs of my hands. Let me see how I'm looking. I think I'm looking weird. Very, very pasty. Now, the sunblock that I've been using and loving lately is this Dermatology Universal Tinted Moisturizer SPF 46. And this is tinted and I really do like it. And they say you need to use at least a quarter teaspoon of sunblock all over your face. So I've got a good amount there. Then you just put it on your skin all over. Put it on my eye eyelids too. And I'm wearing a turtleneck today, so it's not that important to put it on my neck, but anyway. So there is that sunblock, and I really do like this. It has just a little bit of a tint, 
which evens out your skin tone. And by the time I walk across the house to go to the makeup room to apply my makeup, this will be dried down and it really plays well under makeup. It does not make me look greasy, which is amazing because I still have oily skin at 60 plus years old. So anyway, that was a look at my morning skincare routine. And if you're interested in everything anti-aging and you'd like to hang around on my channel to see the fun things I will be doing now and in the future, then I hope you'll subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. That would be helpful too. Okay, it's that time in the video. I always like to leave you with a little thought for the day. And I've been reading from these Life Loves You cards from Louise Hay. I'll go ahead and hopefully choose a positive thought to think about for today. Oh, that's a good one. I am beautiful and everybody loves me. I am beautiful and everybody loves me. I am beautiful and everybody loves me. Carry this thought with you today and notice the effect on you and others. Oh friends, I absolutely love this card and actually I needed this card last night. I should have picked this one yesterday. Alan and I went to a party last night and quite honestly, ever since COVID, I think this is the first big party that I have gone to. And I used to be more used to that, used to getting out in the world and seeing groups of people together. But last night when I got to this party, I realized that I felt kind of shy. And, and let me know in the comment section if you also have been having problems since COVID of integrating back into big groups and being in big groups of people again. But I really needed to have this thought. I was sitting there and all these weird thoughts were going through my head, including, gosh, Beth, you're being really shy. And you know, if instead of looking at the negative and feeling my discomfort, I've been able to switch to the thought, I am beautiful and everybody loves me. I am beautiful and everybody loves me. What a better party experience I would have had last night. And I will say that by the end of the party, I did calm down and I started talking to people and trying to think more about themselves than I was about my own discomfort. And that really did help. But friends, just for today, as we're going through a day, let's try to remember this thought. Think to yourself all through the day, I am beautiful and everybody loves me. I am beautiful and everybody loves me. Because when we do that, when we feel beautiful and loved, it's much easier for us to extend ourselves to others and love them too. Take care and I'll see you in my next video.